What's up, New World Explorers? Today I want to show you how you can get massive points, tanking, and outpost rush. We got 22,000 points there, three kills, only one death, and 41 assists. Basically, you just need a healer. Before I get to the weapons and everything, and then the gear sets, basically it's pretty easy. You're just gonna go into the middle fort there, and if you've got a couple healers, that's what you're gonna need. Um, I am wearing the Ankh, so it increases the heals that I'm getting, and I'm using sword shield, and I'm pretty heavy on the uh, defender tree on the sword and shield so I'm using fortified shield rush with my shield and then also I use the, the flail so most of that's for crowd control and to get extra fortified from the skills so since you're gonna want to go in there and you're just going to fight uh, you're gonna get tons of assists because you want to have uh, some keenly jagged on your weapon so you can get the bleeds and get the assists and you also get points for holding the area then you get points for the damage you deal and the heals. So here we go, we're gonna get into the gear here in a second and the skill trees that I use. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna show you the gear, the skill trees, and the items I use. So I use the heart, the stone form heart rune. Then I'm gonna use a powerful honing stone, artisan flatbread. I use the uh, banana parfait for the 48 constitution. And then the desert sunrise that uh, helps you have 17.5% less damage from dots. So the bleeds, all the ice and stuff. And then for attributes, uh, 350 constitution, so you get the 10% damage reduction from grit board. And then of course you get grit on every attack. Over 50 focus for the healing buff, the 150 strength for the stamina buff, and then the 60 dexterity, so when your stamina is not full, you do more damage. Then I have a keenly jagged on both of the weapons, so it's a sharp ridge and an odo. So for my skill trees, this isn't always optimized, it just works pretty well. So if uh, certain things that you guys use, let me know in the comments. So I use mostly the defender tree so I can get the big bonus for the group at the end, the 30% reduction of damage for everyone. Shield rush, because I have fortifying shield rush with the extra 35% fortify. And then uh, the leaping strike, you want the cowardly strike on there so it deals more damage to the slowed foes. And the whirling blade. Ultimately, I would probably remove something from the defender tree over there, like stamina reduction, and uh, get the extra thing to reduce the cooldown for the whirling blade. And then uh, pretty much everything's in the Bastion side because they all have grit. So the Barrage, the Wording Budgeon, and the Trip. And then you also get extra health based on your physical armor with uh, one perk there on the left, the extra one on the bottom there. So basically that's what I use for those. And then for the gear, I'm using Sharp Ridge, which is crafted with Materia. And it's got Keenly Jagged on it. And then Odo, of course. It's got some heals on there, Life Stealing. And then the Ankh, so you can get better heals coming in. Now, Lifesteal doesn't work very good for that. So, Red Hot Slag's another one crafted with Materia. So, you can do all this stuff just by doing Season Pass. Charcoal, it's got Fortifying Toast, Refreshing, Nimble. Same thing with the uh, Materia. Azoth Crystal Tower Shield, also with Materia. It's got Sturdy Energy, Refreshing, and Fortifying Shield Rush. And then a lot of this gear is just like the Rusher stuff from doing OPR. Except for the Void Dark Plate, that was the hardest piece to get. And then uh, Gauntlets of the Frigid Dawn, you can use Materia to craft that now. So most of these pieces are going to have Enchanted Ward and uh, some sort of health. Now, ultimately, I would have Enchanted Ward, Elemental Inversion, and then probably some Freedom, Refreshing, and Health mixed in with that. And then a couple perks for my weapons and shield and stuff. So basically, you're going to go through a cycle where like you're going to Leaping Strike in. Then you're going to apply your Fortify with your Shield Rush. Then you're going to make a couple of basic attacks. Use your Rolling Blade to hit some of the players around and inflict the bleeds on them. And then switch to your Flail. And you're going to do the trip to knock them down. And Odo will let you do extra damage when they're knocked down. And then I like to do the uh, the Bludgeon. It applies another Fortify, a couple regular attacks, and then a Barrage. Um, a couple regular attacks. You'll have the Fortify again from the Barrage. So you can pretty much keep almost a 30% Fortify up. And then... It, on top of that, when you pop your potion and your healing, you can use some of the gem dust and stuff to also help you survive a little longer. And then your heart rune will be up pretty much nonstop if you do attacks in the middle. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped a little bit. Uh, see you in the next video.